Hi everybody and welcome back to Relax My Dog. Now today's video, we're gonna be talking all about spaniels. Now we actually wanted to do a video on spaniels as a whole, but there are so many different breeds of spaniels that today we're gonna to be talking about the three main spaniels. And that is the Springer Spaniel, the Cocker Spaniel, and the Clumber Spaniel, which I didn't really hear of. And I'm also hopefully gonna be able to compare and contrast these different dog breeds as well. Before we do get started though, let me know down below in the comments, what do you know about spaniels as a whole? Do you know any facts about them? Or just let me know in general, what do you know about the Spaniel dog breed? But let's just get started. <coughs> So the first Spaniel we're going to talk about is the Springer Spaniel. Now Springer Spaniels are quite different characters to the Cocker Spaniels because they tend to be far more independent by nature. They absolutely adore hunting and retrieving which makes them very good at their jobs. They are also a lot more powerful than the Cocker Spaniel and they tend to be a bit taller as well. The other thing to bear in mind is that the Springer is more receptive uh, when being trained and not quite as sensitive as the Cocker Spaniels tend to be. Next up, we're going to talk about the Cocker Spaniel, which I always would say they're a lot more loving and more like family orientated dog breeds. Now the Cocker Spaniels tend to be a lot more affectionate by nature and are typically that much smaller than their Springer cousins. They boast lots of personality and character, which means they're a lot of fun to have around. Although this is a very really nice trait to have for a Cocker Spaniel, it does mean that it might take them that little bit more time to be fully trained because they almost have their owners wrapped around their little finger because they are such an affectionate and loving dog that it can take them a little bit longer to be fully trained. Now, Cocker Spaniels are incredibly intelligent dogs and they adore getting up to a little bit of mischief whenever they can. Now next up, we're gonna look at the Clumber Spaniel. Now I never even knew this type of Spaniel existed, if I'm being perfectly honest. So I was definitely intrigued to learn a little bit more about this dog breed. Now if you're wanting to almost share your life and home with a great Spaniel, they're not really that interested in training or anything like that, then the Clumber Spaniel could be the perfect choice. These lovely nature dogs are quick to adapt to a more relaxed life, although they still prefer to be more outside than inside, which means they are not so perfect for people that live in towns or people that don't have a garden. They love, love to be outside, out in the open space, but they're not particularly that fussed on being overly trained. But that is it for this week's video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you would like to. And me and Milo will see you next week for next week's video. Bye.